Hello everyone. Welcome back to the book corner. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos <coughs> that I'm doing um, tonight. So I'm on these are gonna be the last two videos that I'm uploading um, today and I'm currently reading not reading but listening to the second book in the Barkery and Biscuit uh, mystery series. So yeah, so I'm having a lot of fun doing that, uh, and um, I will be doing a review of that one, but I will be using the physical copy of the book during that particular book review. And uh, I'm also um, currently in the second book of the Witches Brew or Tea Shop Mystery, I think that's what they call it. The third book is actually supposed to come out, I believe, in September. So I will be buying, um, I will be buying physical copies of the two books, and then I will get the third book um, when it comes out. All right. So we're doing a review of Six Feet Deep Dish by Mindy Quigley. <laughs> Okay, before I begin, I want to say this. This was actually a very long, it took me, a, it took me quite some time to get through it. So let's raise the, the reason for this is not because the book was horrible, but because I have so many books <clears throat> that I have checked out or bought or whatever that I did not uh, get a chance to read this the way that I wanted to. Or, yeah. So, Six Feet Deep Dish is about a woman um, let me just uh, um, her name is um Delilah. Yeah, her name is Delilah. Mm. All right. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> her name is Delilah, and she is uh, opening up a pizza place in Chicago. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, her partner is her partner uh, named Sam. And on the day that her pizzeria or her, uh, her, sh her business is supposed to open, he is not there. And, uh, and there's a dead guy. <laughs> and, and, of course, her dear elderly aunt is believed to be the one doing it or the one that did it and <clears throat> because she because the gun that was used to kill the guy was actually uh her aunt's gun so of course yeah <laughs> we'll, believe the, we'll believe the little old lady does that um one of the things that delilah learns towards the end of this is just because they're elderly doesn't mean that they cannot commit murder. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's something that she learned the hard way, that elderly people can commit murder, though it's not her aunt. Um, the detective's last name is Capone. Yes, he is related to Al Capone. Which I thought was interesting to put that in as the detective. Uh, then you have a cat, you have her, well, it's not really her cat's kind of like joint thing, <clears throat> uh, named Butterball, or Butterball or Butterbell. I think I'm going to go with Butterball. Sounds, sounds catty. Uh, and of course, you know, he's a cat. <laughs> he's, he doesn't do anything remarkable in this book except be a cat. Um, not like Bob. <laughs> not, not like Bob. Bob is something else. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so she has to, you know, figure out what is going on. There's some money that's found on her aunt's property that doesn't belong to her aunt. 
Uh, it's it's a, it's a it's a nightmare for her. It absolutely is a nightmare for her. And um, yeah, so this was a really good first book. I did enjoy it a lot. I thought that the author did a very good job in writing. But thing was, thing is, I I really liked the book. I just don't like the idea it took me three months to finish this book and once again it is not that the book was no good or that I was having a hard time following the characters it is just I'm bibliophile and I've got a ton of books not exactly the best thing to have the best thing to be but yeah so I'm gonna give it five stars it was a great book and definitely worth the read. So I am going in here. I have uh, one more book review to do and I will see you guys around.